I'm curious, and I would like to ask you something to participate with, with me, if that's okay. Could you please point upwards? All of you, we all know what up is, yes. And please point down. Yes, please point to the left. Yeah, you agree on that. And, and the right, can you point to the right? Yes, you agree on that too. Well, that's great. Thank you. Today, I would like to tell you something about the Think Map. It is a map based on this human relation to space and how we experience this space and how we can see things in, in this relation. We can order our thoughts and put them into the Think Map and then we can distract new ideas from any kind of angle. Well, well a year ago, I came here to, to Japan and I'm, I have been working in an interface design company where the founder, Kobayashi Ikuo-san, has introduced this Think Map. It is a way in which we start new projects. It shows us our range, and it shows us our possibilities, and it also shows us, or it gives us, our, it gives our new ideas their foundation. Well, as we just established together, we experience the space around us in the same order. Above is above, below below, left is left, and right is right. But because we are emotional beings, we also connect subjective characteristics to these directions. So up and down is also light and heavy. Uh, it's emotional and practical, and it is temporary and it's permanent. And on the left and right, there is past and there's future. There's feminine and there's masculine. And there's also static and there's dynamic. So we, these characteristics are all based on psychological studies. One of those studies, is that has been announced before, is the Baum test by the German professor, psychologist, Professor Koch. Well, you all maybe took a second to draw a tree yourself, and now I'm going to tell you something about you, because now I know something about you. If you drew a tall tree, a tall tree that means that you, are, you have superiority, you have, you're a liberator maybe, and you have spiritual consciousness, when your tree is small on the paper, it means maybe that you are grounded and you're a very functional person. Or, if the tree is hanging to the left, it means that you are maybe defensive and a bit introvert. And if your tree is hanging to the right, it means that you are outgoing and maybe even a bit aggressive. Or maybe not. But there are more things, there are more things connected to these directions. And that's what the other professor, Grunwald, showed us. To these directions, there are many other words also connected and that explains the different directions. And these are just even a few of them. But as you can see, obviously, it's a bit complicated, and especially in a map, to practically work with so many words. So when we were working with the Think Map, we contracted these words into single ones. And that became hot, cool, passive and active. And these words represent these whole families of words. And every time you use a map, you can use and think of these words and even replace them. But then the, the same directions have these same meanings. So I want to give you an example on how you can actually use the map. A colleague of mine made a map of the most recent TED presentations available online. What is your interest? What, are you, what do you want to see? So the Asking, the question that we asked ourselves is, what effect bring the dead presentations to the audience? Was it a light topic, meaning hot? Was it a cool topic, meaning, uh, well, sorry, was it a heavy topic, meaning cool? Was it a topic to just to take in and to learn from, meaning passive? Or was it something that called you to get into action, meaning active? So as you can see, we put on the TED presentations one by one. And if you just stick to one, it's very easy to just choose if they have to go up or down or left and right. So when we put all the presentations in there, you were there, we found out that there are much more questions answered than the one, the single one that we started with. For example, here are two groups of people with incredible personal stories. But on the left, these people, these personal, the, these people tell their strong stories about their personal experience and how that made them stronger, and it's very inspiring. But on the other side, there are women who give us the tools and the power to create our own powerful stories. Here's a group of people where the, where the social matters cluster, things that we have to deal with today, like education, like uh, the social preconceptions, or the healthcare issues, and we have to deal with that, so you, you want to do something about that. Or on the other side, there are futuristic inventions, inventions made, things that might be the solutions for the problems we have today, but then in the future. 
And for me as a designer, there are two opposites that I found very interesting. On the one hand, there are the revolutionary artists who I can admire and inspire me in that way. But on the other hand, there are the scientists who show me worlds of the micro and the, the macro and the micro that are big and small and they show me worlds that I have never seen before. So in that sense, for me, they are very interesting. So as you can see, there is much more to take in from the one single map. And the, th the nice thing about it is, is that it doesn't give you a judgment about if something is good versus bad or if something is ugly versus beautiful. It gives you an objective view from which you can subtract ideas from any angle. And you might think how, you know, might wonder how you can use it and adapt it yourself. Well, for example, maybe you have a restaurant and you have a complicated wine menu. Organize the flavors and people can actually easily choose what they, what they want to drink. Or for example, where you are a teacher or a math or like art teacher or something, and you want to define and clarify the cultural movements that have been happening in history. These are, could make, you know, can give students a better sense of how they can understand them. Or for example, you have your big music library and you have a certain mood that you're in. Map the, your music in the moods and it's easier for you to distract, like to, to choose what you want to listen to. So I'd like to uh, invite you to all share our thoughts using the Think Map and uh, to share our thoughts like we share ideas in TED. Thank you. Thank you very much.